Do wind turbines pose a credible threat to national security? The U.S. allocates $50 million towards offshore wind research, and NASCAR ready to kick off with E-15 blends. This is your Daily Energy Report. Hello and thanks for joining us today. I'm Ben Lack, your Chief Conversationalist, here to bring you the latest daily energy news for Tuesday, February the 8th. Leading off, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security has selected Raytheon to build a wind turbine tool that will provide an assessment of the turbine's effects on the country's radar systems. It is often difficult for air traffic control centers to differentiate between the blades of a wind turbine and an aircraft. The radar emits a pulse signal and then waits until this signal is reflected back. The Doppler effect changes the frequency of the return signal, so the location of the moving object is clear. Wind farms often interfere with radar tracking of planes or weather because they also create a Doppler effect as they rotate. This risks blackout zones. Several other companies such as Analytical, Graphics Inc. and Rimcom Inc. will partner with Raytheon for the project. The U.S. federal government is taking a leap forward in its support for offshore wind energy, including $50 million of funding for projects in the Mid-Atlantic. The announcement was made by Ken Salazar, the Secretary of the Interior, and Department of Energy Secretary Stephen Chu. There are three key challenges to offshore energy, the high cost, technical challenges, and the lack of data and experience. To overcome this, the plan offers $50 million over the next five years to improve technology and reduce the market barriers to greater investment in the offshore sector. The two departments aim to deploy 54 gigawatts of offshore wind capacity by 2030. This would be enough to generate power for 15.2 million average-sized homes. And finally, let the countdown begin. NASCAR is set to race its drivers on an ethanol fuel blend in 2011. In response, Growth Energy has launched the 15-day Countdown to Daytona campaign, building anticipation for the Daytona 500, the first race in the 2011 season. The race is scheduled for February the 20th and marks the first example of NASCAR's partnership with American Ethanol. The move helps gather support for ethanol by bringing a positive message that it creates clean energy jobs in the U.S., reduces CO2 emissions, and diminishes our dependence on oil imports. Have thoughts or comments about today's show? Then please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. We've run out of time for today. Thanks for watching and make sure you tune in tomorrow to check out your latest Daily Energy Report. I'm Ben Lack, Chief Conversationalist, wishing you a fantastic Tuesday.